culture is a thing that everyone should feel happy to participate in, except for this person. Oh, bro. Yeah, I'm late. I know traffic was so bad. Huh? I work from home. We're using our business to tell the story of our life. Our tourists and customers, they become somewhat of a diary to us. Well, we call it Taramea, it's the crown of thorns, or pops, as they're known by worldwide. They're just a massive starfish that eats coral. Well, Taramea is real bad for the, for the reef, and um, as you know, a lot of fish live on the reef, and here in Raro, a lot of people actually live off the reef, and uh, if left unchecked here, they'll cause a lot of damage. Uh, so my connection to the ocean started, I think, when I was about one. My mum got me into fishing. And uh, yeah, over the years, that just slowly progressed. And then uh, when I was eight years old, I started spearfishing. Okay, for me, I've always been connected to water. I'm a bit of a water baby. I started because it was a good excuse to go for a dive. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's, it was a win-win. Uh, I, I volunteered to help out to remove Taramea during COVID times. I didn't have any work, so I was like, why not go for a dive? and clean up the reef at the same time. So basically what you do is you swim down to the taramea, sitting on the coral, you use the sharp end and you pry it off the coral and you just spear it through, you spear your stick through it and you point it up and you swim up to the surface. Call it our weapon, we've nicknamed it the Excalibur. So basically it's just a stick with a hook on the end and a cross, so the cross bit is to ensure that the taramea doesn't slide down and stab us in the hand while we're swimming up. They're poisonous, so they've, they're covered with spines, and one little prick of that, uh, it can just it's ruin your day, day. <laughs> ruin your month, because it takes ages. It's, a neuro, it's got a neurotoxin, so it just doesn't do well in your body. The recent one we did was Manuai. And uh, man, that's just a completely different place, you know? It's real special. So in Manua, it's, it's, not, it's not the same as Raro. So here in Raro, you get a lot of big ones. In Manua, they're, they're all a lot smaller, a lot younger ones, but they're just so dense within a you know, small area. So uh, yeah, something has to be done about it. So on sunny days, they, uh, they tend to be more blended with the coral, so they're harder to spot. But on sort of overcast days, you, you tend to spot them more like easily, I guess is the word, because uh, they stand out more. There's just a big black circle on the coral. Then once we get back to shore, we bury them. We just dig a pit, just chuck them all in, and they just obviously degrade. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm hoping is that, um, you know, we're definitely bring the numbers down, hopefully, within the next couple of months to maybe years, and um, hopefully see the reef get back to a healthy state. So it's, yeah, better habitat for the fish, and, uh, you know, our local people can make a better living off the, the reef. For all you freedivers out there, especially those living on a tropical island like this, uh, if you see any taramea, don't touch it. <laughs> uh, if you've got an Excalibur of your own, a weapon of your own, then remove it if you can. But it's best to stay away unless you've got the proper equipment. Guys, I've got some news. So, I'm having a baby. Hey Terrell, you're on, you're on mute, bro. We can't hear you. Oh, am I on mute? Oh. Hey guys, I've got some good news. Um, what? what? Oh, guess what? We're having a baby. 
Oh my god, we're so happy for you. Oh, congrats, man. Congrats. Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Hey, guys, I had a baby first. Bro, are you just trying to steal the spotlight? Are you just trying to steal the spotlight? No, 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 I'm not trying to take the attention away. Bro, I'm just having a baby. Why would you say that, bro? Yeah, why would you say that, bro? I said it first. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-one, twenty-one, twenty-one. Hey guys! Yeah, I'm late. I know traffic was so bad. Huh? I work from home. <laughs> You're right. There's no excuses. Let's continue. Huh? I'm fired. Terrell, we're gonna need you to come grab your stuff from the office, okay? I can't you! Terrell, stop glitching. For today's TED Talk, I'd like to talk to you guys about the uh, effects on the environment. Mum! What's time? What's time? What's time? Oh shit! Good morning. Mhm. Mm oh my god. Oh god. Mhm. 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 Oh my god. Uh, this the background. Yeah, no, it's just a green screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm at home. I'm in the office. Yeah, I know, it looks cool, eh? Uh, it's like a moving background. Yeah, you guys, I'll send you the link. This must be Gabby's, because it's giving almost there, but just not good enough. You know, kind of like her stint on Know Your Roots. My name is Bianca Sena for Gabby Solomona. My name is Disciple Party. Akusha Tara Kupe. You may remember me as the person who should have won on season one, Know Your Roots. I'm the person who should have won Know Your Roots season three. Hi, losers. You might remember me as the winner of Know Your Roots season two. Today on Know Your Roots Stars of the Kitchen, we are serving up by Fala. Let's go. So I've never seen, heard of, tasted paifala in my entire life. But I know it's not supposed to look like this. The filling, pineapple and custard powder, sugar, it was like eight cups of flour, eight teaspoons of baking powder. I have a lot at home. I still think I'm gonna win, purely because I know I made mine from scratch and I reckon everyone else has cheated and bought this from the store. What have we got here? Are we doing baifala? Because this, this doesn't look like a baifala. It looks like a scone with a teaspoon of custard in the middle. Mmm, it's nice and soft. Oh. It smells like Mimi. Culture is a thing that everyone should feel happy to participate in, except for this person. Oh, bro, this is not even pineapple. It tastes like mango jam. That's how dry it is, look. <laughs> I haven't even eaten it yet and it's giving dry. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna give it to my pretend kids to play Play-Doh with it. Look. It's, it's not custard, it's more like jam. This is not a faifala. Fresh TV, don't serve me this rubbish again. But if this person wanted some advice, I would say to add a bit more just love, care, you know, kindness. I'm gonna rate this a one out of 10. I rate this a two. You want me to rate this out of 10? Disqualified. That's your rating, disqualified. I am not gonna be humble, this is bomb. I grew the pineapple myself, the cream, I milk that straight up the cow. I'm thinking about my competition this morning and I'm feeling really confident. Oh. I'm feeling like they would have gone to being luckies. Ooh. I'm confident because I made this. Okay. It's not a paifala. What is this? 
I'm pretty sure this is not paifala. This is just a pie. This is not listening to the instructions. The key test to a good paifala is not a cheesecake crust. It's actually the pastry that you make and the, the filling and whether or not you can get the ratio between them good. So she kind of cheated. Mm, it's quite soft inside. They got their nana to make it. And I know it's probably gonna taste good because it's flippin' bought from a store. Oh my gosh, I feel like Moses splitting the Red Sea. Mmm, of course it's good. It's delicious. Super pineapple-y. It's not very sweet, which is strange because it's meant to be a dessert by Fala. Definitely peaches on top. Which means it should be sweet. Like, maybe she's health conscious. It's really good, but I don't want to give it any points because clearly not made by anyone on the show. Whoever made this, tell your nana she makes the best pies. I wonder if this was putty. Like, she probably got her maid to make it. I'm going to give it a 4.5. I'm going to give you 5.5. I mean, like, I'm going to eat it, but it's, it's a zero for me. Because this is not paifala, and we were supposed to make paifala. And if you don't make paifala, you don't get the points. So this is my paifala. I made the pastry first with flour, baking powder, and all of that stuff. And my pineapple, I actually have a pineapple tree plantation next to my bread plantation in my backyard. Paifala. My pineapple pie is going to be better than everybody else because it's blessed and highly favoured and made from scratch. Oh, period. Unlike Sapati, who probably got her maid to make it. I wouldn't call this a paifala. I would call this a um, paisanga. Oh, this is very classic paifals. That's soft. That's nice. The crust is like good ratio to the inside. Nice texture. It's really nice and moist. However, it literally tastes like nothing. Maybe a bit too much custard and not much pineapple. I don't know if there's pineapple in this. The crust is a bit weird. Like, I can't even taste sugar. It tastes like plain dough. Like I'm eating plain dough with some wet dough in the middle. This must be Gabby's because it's giving almost there, but just not good enough. You know, kind of like her stint on Know Your Roots. Pastry is a little bit dry. This is po possibly the most boring thing I've ever eaten in my life. I want to go four out of 10 for this one. I'm going to rate this a 4.5. I'm going to give this one a rating of like one. Oh, and there's like a pang of baking soda at the back there. No, no, I'm going to give it a zero. We're gonna be tasting my version of paifala. I grew the pineapple myself from my own plantation, my own pineapple plantation, and my own sugar plantation, and my own custard plantation. Is that it? So yeah, I hope that um, everybody enjoys it. And if they don't, then that's their own issue. Oh. Clearly they don't have taste buds. This one looks like there's more filling and not that much pastry. Okay, here we go. Mm. Stretchy. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's soft and moist and pineapple-y. The pastry's quite, it, it feels like paper. The filling's good, but the pastry's dry and there's not much of it. Tastes sour. It's probably the best out of the three because there's sugar in this one. I think this is the real deal, guys. But is it too good? Please pray for my stomach that I don't have diarrhea for the rest of the day. If this was made by the person who supposedly made it, they get a seven. If not, zero. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. I am going to give you a one point negative five. I get to play with paint. People get to find out how funny I am.
I, I love it, man. I love that we get to work for, uh, for ourselves. I'm Oliver Peter, and I'm coming in from beautiful Rautonga, down here at the markets, at the Whanungunui markets. Alongside my wife and my children, we run Ash Store Oli Surf Gear. So basically what we're offering over here is Polynesian-inspired apparel, and also I do a little bit of airbrushing on um, chucker hats. We receive it blank and we're either going to print onto it, paint onto it, or sew. We have two colors, black and gray. We've got four sizes, medium to 2XL, and we've got three designs. I paint hats. I've done this for so many years now. And when you give the, the gift to the little children or you know, whoever bought it, man, the reaction's always the same. And it's, uh, it's what makes the job fun. I don't get that uh, same thing with walls. I've definitely been a creative. Um, here on the island, um, my last name is Piru, which uh, well, basically means we're all born with a pencil. Uh, starting from my grandfather to my own dad, Derek Piru, and then now I've been able to kind of, um, you know, pick up the reins. The actual business, Ollie Surf Gear, was something my mum and dad started just down the road at the BCI Bank. Uh, back then, it was basically a retail spot for many businesses. So I grew up and my dad used to change the logo from being the little baby in nappies until I got older and older. But I always had it in the back of my mind of just growing up as a teenager, growing up as an adult, and I was thinking it'd be pretty cool to bring that back. Thankfully, yeah, it all worked out. Thankfully, we got old, um, what would you call that? Heirlooms, I guess? Or just kind of fusing the old and new back together. It's cool, a lot of history, not just from myself and my wife, but even before then. Shout out to Billy's uh, Burger Joint for giving me the opportunity to um, to really kind of get down on the artwork where it's not just um, a simple image and then somebody's name. We had a simple idea, but just the scale of everything was we were able to evolve away from the original and just really bring something different to the island. So it's going on to Five years now, we're using our business to tell the story of our life. Our tourists and customers, they become somewhat of a diary to us. You know, we're repeating the story of our life so often that you remember it, you don't have to write it down. It's been awesome. Yeah, I, I love it, you know. Um, I get to play with paint. People get to find out how funny I am. I, I love it, man. I love that we get to work for, uh, for ourselves. I got my wife, I got my kids. Yeah, we're blessed. Kerana, I'm Oliver, uh, coming in from beautiful Rautonga. I'm a creative native. Awoi kafio la es es el opaye a. O soy lo más fai sofre agua. Si un mes vaya cuya oye a ver si ella pipi que le no hay TikTok y yo más fai le pipi no hay eso. Yeah, I 
so my funk don't stop. Funk around the streets and I funk around the shops. Funk around the beaches, funk around the blocks. I don't care about your funk, my funk is on the top. All up in the place and now we're gonna start properly. Try and stop my funk, but they can't stop me. No way, nobody can come. What we've got going on here till the bar's empty. I've been cooking up a little something to go. Some hot bars with a buttery flow. Tonight is gonna end up in the gutter, we know. We dump in dough. Everybody love it when we put on a show. Feel the bass groove through your eardrums. Here's some more for your wall and it's fearsome. I fear none when I get in a groove. Just give me funk in my ears and I'm ready to move. It's like, I just want the funk. The funk. They just want the funk. Give us the funk. We just want the funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. I just want the funk. Give me the funk. They just want the funk. Give us the funk. We just want the funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. Yeah. I just want the funk. Give me the funk. They just want the funk. Give them the funk. We just want the funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. I just want the funk. Give them the funk. They just want the funk. Give them the funk. We just want the funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. The funk. Give us the funk. I think it's made out of oh, I'm not pretty sure what's the word in English. Out of this, we also make costume, but we're not on that. So how do I share my screen? Yeah. Yeah, I did that, I did that. It's not working.